Good morning, I'm Mr. Gardner, and I have the privilege of bringing you today's devotion on hope and peace. In today's devotion, we'll take a brief look into the book of Jeremiah and the plans that God had for his people back then, and also the plans that he has for his people today. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Plans. We, we like to plan. We make plans for the short-term events like what we're doing today, tomorrow, or even for the rest of the week. We may make plans for future vacations. We are currently making plans for the time that we'll be able to worship in our new sanctuary. We also know that many of the plans that we make may change. For instance, we planned for students to be in the building until May 22nd. That's not gonna happen. We plan on having confirmation this past Sunday. We plan on having graduation in just under one month. It seems like the only thing that we can count on right now is the fact that we can't count on anything. Let's take a look at what the Lord told the people of Judah as they were carried away from their homeland. Read from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Unlike our plans that may change on a whim, or unlike our plans that may not always be the wisest decisions we've ever made, the Lord tells us that he has plans for us. Just like he was telling the people of Judah in the midst of a 70-year exile to the land of Babylon that he had a plan for them, so he also has a plan for every one of us. Plans to give us hope and a future. I know we're going through a rough time right now. People may be losing jobs. You may not be able to see your loved ones that you had been used to seeing previously. Your future may be uncertain. And who knows how long this will last? Well, the Lord knows that's who. He is the ultimate planner. We can plan our days and years all we want, but only the Lord knows the plan that is best for us. I am quite sure that most of the people of Judah did not think that after watching their city being destroyed and people being carried off to distant land, that this was a time for hope and future with prosperity. But God did. He had a specific plan for that specific time, and it was the perfect plan. Why is this pandemic happening at this specific time? We don't know. The Lord hasn't told us, but as always, we know that he has a plan and his plan is perfect. How many times haven't you heard the phrase, if it's the Lord's will or Lord willing, this will happen. We are actually saying, let the Lord guide our plans and decisions and then they will prosper. So there really is something that we can count on the Lord's perfect plan for us. Just as the Lord's plans for the people of Judah were to prosper and to give them hope, so the Lord has a plan for us as we let him guide our ways. We close. I am trusting you, Lord Jesus, trusting only you, trusting you for full salvation, free and true. I am trusting you to guide me. You alone shall lead every day and hour supplying all my need. I am trusting you for power. You can never fail. Words which you yourself shall give me must prevail. I am trusting you, Lord Jesus, never let me fall. I am trusting you forever and for all. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. Amen.